First of all, I want to shout out Matt for sending out one of these to me in this camo. Uh, I think they're called a... Chachki. Chachki or something. I'm not sure what they're called. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen. I actually saw one of these sell on eBay the other day for $140, and I thought it was criminal because they go for 25 bucks. And these eBay resellers, I think they're spineless. I honestly think that... What, what do you guys think? Uh, they are... In hip hop, we have this thing called culture vultures, right? And they're the people that don't really care about the culture, but they kind of take pieces of it and try and profit, whether that's clout or money or whatever. They're not interested in anything that we're doing. They want to get a pat on the back. They want to make a couple of bucks. They're not really interested in the community, which really pisses me off because at the moment, there are so many of these pouches on eBay. And then I go onto my Instagram and there are people talking about how they've been trying to get one of these pouches for a while, but they just can't seem to get one, especially in the more desirable colors like the camos. Now, I think that this blue is one of the most beautiful colors out of all the pouches that Matt's ever built. It's just that people are like sheep and they don't know what they like they don't you know they follow trends they follow other people they follow other people's opinions so a lot of these blue ones ended up on ebay and if you want one yeah they're cheaper than ever but at the same time i would say don't support some of these resellers now let's move on this blue is absolutely stunning on the outside we have a pete's pirate life i love knives patch we have a f society if you know where F Society is from, which TV show, comment it down below. Consider yourself warned. And then we also have a panda pirate patch on the outside, and I think it looks absolutely spectacular. What do you guys think? It looks really, really cool. This blue truly is amazing. This pocket here also helps you put pins on. So if you can't get patches, you can put pins on because you can pin them through the back here. We have an air tag here, which I'm going to open with the knife, even though it has a pull tab. I just got this Wii Banter because he released some scales that were like the Nintendo Wii. And um, I thought that was pretty cool. And I'm going to throw them on my Wii Banter. Now, opening these up is no big deal. I'm sure everybody's opened up an air tag before. I do like the sound it makes when you pull the plastic out. Let's see if the mic picks this up. And, oh, what's this? It's got the thumbs up on the air tag. Uh, what's that? It's telling me to press that like button. It's not too much to ask, is it? Okay, so air tag, that's gonna go into the back of the pouch and also in the back, we have a giant mouse coin. This is a, what does it say? Giant mouse knife company, five years of knives done right. Awesome, and then it's got this kind of like pirate rat at the front. I'm gonna put some B-roll in there and then we're gonna go in to the inside. So let's just quickly go through the pouch on the inside. We have this Leatherman pry bar. I'm really digging this one. Bead of Etsy, which was $18. This is the blue carry, blue and orange carry. We have an Olight, which is in blue with the orange bead, the same place that I got the blue bead from. Now, this is the only way that you can support the channel in this video. I have a link for all the American guys watching this video to a Fisher Space Pen, and these are absolutely fantastic. It's my first one. I really, really love how solid and heavy these are. That's why I like the Lamy Pen so much, because there is weight in them. You can tell that they're built extremely well, and then it comes in this really cool packaging. I didn't even realize this, but... It comes in this box and then you have this um, plastic packaging where you can put the pen and I guess you could use it for something else. And then we have a big lighter, no big deal. We have some band-aids because there's blue and red on there to match everything else. And then we have, I knew that wasn't gonna work. Once I can't get this, oh, then I just can't get it. It's so small. That's what she said. <clears throat> No. The giant mouse nibbler. This thing is made so extremely well, but it does worry me a little bit. And it worries me because the scales are really slippery. 
it's kind of like glass with a little bit of sweat in your hand especially summertime i just feel like if you're not really hanging on to the paracord there is a chance that you could cut yourself this knife has cut me so many times and i've never carried it the only times that i've had this knife in my pocket is when i've been packing this pouch out and every single time that i've tried to flick it open it's cut me yesterday i try oh wow i got that one <laughs> yesterday i tried to open it and it actually cut the top of my thumb it wasn't bad and then my index finger as well just little nicks but there is something ergonomically that i don't like about this knife it's expensive too i would much rather carry the dragonfly if i was going to be in this territory or even like the kiwi plus than this knife here like i said it's built so extremely well it is a piece of art honestly like if you look at it I'm going to try and put some good b-roll in there if you look at this knife it's just it's amazing it makes me want to buy more giant mouse knives but just something about this one that scares the absolute crap out of me okay guys so that's it for my blue carry i hope you liked it like i said don't don't try and buy these pouches of ebay and support those culture vultures that don't really care about our community it is really sad i think that somebody's trying to make like 50 bucks off this off a pouch instead of just going out and getting a job and working an extra hour at work like imagine all the time like you gotta buy the pouch you gotta post the pouch then you gotta go to the post office when somebody buys it then they might leave you bad a bad review because you charge too much or the packaging wasn't right it's like all that stress like you could literally just get an extra hours in at work to make a little bit of extra money and not be a part of that whole you know it started off with a couple of people on ebay now there's a whole bunch of them and i just think they are absolute scum so stay away from all that stuff support garage build gear it is one guy matt in a tennessee garage his story is amazing if you don't know his story look into that support people that are doing the right thing in the community and the rest of them don't shine your O light in their direction they don't deserve the light they don't deserve the love and uh yeah on that note i'm gonna leave it there guys thank you for tuning in thank you for all the support till the next time it's been your boy big drizzlax i'll catch you around the traps peace <laughs>